using his orb for that. And he's using that wall on that left lane. Oh. Try to maybe set up the retake. He's getting taken down by Baby Bay. A huge opening pick there with the Sheriff. And now we're going to see FaZe throw their own wall down to block off that link. And here come the flashes and smokes. Also with that, the recon are not going to find too much. Yeah. Baby Bay finding his second. Toxic screen also still down. This is the offensive one. Baby Bay maybe good for a third. Finds it now, but the fourth. May explosives will pop through for Baby Bay. Looking for the ace. Doesn't check his left. The trade will be there. And FaZe start us off with a pistol. I think for FaZe, you're really going to be happy about getting this extra bit long range pressure early. And early 1v1, Shanks trying to play aggressively. That's going to be an instant upgrade. Really the follow-up with at least an elimination, but it does provide vacancy to get the spike down. And from long A, except for Baby Bay with the op way out in middle. I want to see what kind of factor he's going to be able to play here. He's way out of the picture right now. So honestly, for Rise, this retake looking even strength. Maybe even uh, a little bit more now favor, but here's the angle that Baby Bay wants, trying to make sure that everything stays safe, but the spike is not necessarily planted for him, but it doesn't make much of a difference. Rock is for two. Get over to B-side if need be. Baby J could cut that off, and that's a big entry from Baby Bay to help start penetrating this B-side. There's still two defenders I'm left. Yeah, these defenders have pistols only. Seeker's actually going to be called out. Neptune makes good for, for one. The trade is there. Baby Bay finding his second. A couple of tags come through the connector, but does not really amount to too much, and with that, it's just extra information for Baby J to follow up, find a free kill through the middle of the map. Left. Baby Bay, though, denied by Poise, who actually find as the Vandal, Fight they're planted. fully healthy. Then Poise can be the you first one run. forward. Derek watching long. And there it is. Attack and lockdown will be spent. You've got to go now if you're Ryze. Otherwise, you're not going to have time to back up and then come back to this. And the lockdown does get destroyed. And oh my goodness, the trade is going to be there. Baby J, though, over the top. At now, as FaZe have jumped up to a hot star pick. I'll pick again yeah. from Baby Bay. He has been here, Supa. Yeah, and they already had their Viper Wall placed here at A-side, so they're able to go ahead and throw that up immediately. Spin trying to play behind it, trying to throw his own utility down to slow this attack down, but Baby Bay is not having it. Coming over with the daggers, finds his second. Baby J cleans up Superman, and this is probably it. Defensively, Neptune, one more flash. <laughs> Confirm right here on the first day of this event is that Baby Bay stomp. Unbelievable. And it's just, you know, the fact that you're getting thrown, Trailblazer comes through, they're still trying to find a way to get Baby Bay a first blood. I think they know Superman's on the site, but he can't lock it down. Super does find first blood. First numbers advantage we've seen yet for Ryze, and they'll continue to build. Eaten alive by shock darts. Four is here too, but this just feels like they're trying to open up space to try to get into this site with an odd man situation. Neptune will make sure that the double still comes out, meaning that Rockus's position is very much so well known by Ryze. It won't be a flawless on the cards, but hey, once again, I've got positioning your pretty aggressive here, but there's the Seekers plus the <laughs> Alt Drone. No chance for Super to get away. Lock things up for Ryze defensively. Trailblazer out, not really able to see too much of anything. And Baby Bay has already snuck through the backside of these pyramids outside the site, so maybe an opportunity. But ah, uh, Neptune gets caught. Guiding Light comes through, finds one, lost the second, but it's the Hunter Spirit that's able to take down Baby Bay. The Spike Carrier dropped. Shanks not able to convert on the Baby J, but the trade will be there from Boys, leaving Raucous in what would be a 1v3. Now made easier with a 1v2, but he doesn't really have a lot to play with outside of really just his positioning, which is really not much to speak of, and Neptune crosses from right to The tag will also actually be there, so Neptune's going to be in a world of hurt here. Good flash will come through, but Corey still through the Toxic screen, able to find first blood. Baby J rotating from mid. That's a free angle on the Supa, and you can keep in mind what we saw from Baby Bay the first round, he had the Operator. He's going to continue to play through that mid elbow, yep. watching for the plan. Plus, FaZe has mana advantage. It's going to be so tough on Rise to try to get this defuse off. Find a pick sooner rather than later if you're rise, but nothing comes their way. Baby Bay making his position now remaining. known, but it doesn't even need to be used. Three kills for Baby J. Shanks last one. Just with the yeah. extremely dire and desperate times at the moment. Lockdown comes through. Oh, Baby boy. Bay wide peak finds the headshot, and now here open the floodgates. Phase on the way forward. Baby J gonna be able to lock down the lockdown. Spike planted, and that does at least allow an opportunity for the defense to maybe look for exits as soon as the spike is planted. But once again, it's Zachary's wall that comes out allowing some reprieve. Poise does have defensive lockdown as well. If they can get into a good position, they might be able to help use that to get this retake. But Baby Bay, again, teeing off with this operator, already silencing Derek. There's another on to Neptune, and things are fading fast. But here comes the defensive lockdown. Can't it get them back in this? But what a great lineup from Zach to put on the spike. Kill so much time, but the defense knows that they've got a little bit of freedom before they have to check. Second snake bite comes out. Big shout out to the Ops team for catching it every time. Zach also finds poise. Superman giving it a go, but not much to be found there. He didn't speak. It's not yeah. his forehead dashing in. And maybe a bit of frustration starting to amount as Rise kind of hit the W key hard. No. Right from Baby Bay just over the top of Shanks' head. 
Neptune there for the trade, and Super actually cleans up the front door of B. So with that okay. double, it actually means that there's, again, for maybe the second time only so far in this half, Ryze have a numbers advantage, 3v2. But not on this side of the map. It's even numbers, but Corey not checking, able to... Call. He will get the plant. Sure, he's got Hunter's Fury, but planted. it's going to be hard to get in a spot where he's protected enough to actually get that Hunter's Fury off and get the impact out of it. And now he's getting blipped by the recon. Shockguard also will connect as the Guiding Light came through Stake Fight. Flushing him through. Rock is no chance there. So Ryze will find a elbow play. This is unreal. It is that Trailblazer will spot Baby Bay, sure, but that's only half the battle as he just sneaks Fight over on the top me. wall and gets a Sheriff pick there on the soup, and then Corey gonna be able to assist him here for the opposing side. Neptune, though, breaking through, finding Zachary out in the middle, so we are seeing Ryan. He actually chose the third door, which is, let me just stack up with my teammates while we land. Yeah. Turret, difficult 1v1 there, apparently. And Corey, that's going to be a free one, but can he find more behind this? That's the big question. Yes, he can. A single tap onto Poise does the trick, and it's just onto Shanks. Corey's got the beat on him, but where's the help? It's got to come through. You've got to try to stick for the defuse. Shanks wins the first. Rock is trying to hold. Gets it to halfway, but Shanks will tally his fourth. A means to get Baby Bay forward, and oh, forward he goes. But Superman ready for it, finds the easy kill. Poise still lock locking things down with the Sheriff takes down Corey's trade, and with that 4v2, Rise once again, vacancy at A for a free point. Big to catch that phase, we're going to collect Breeze, but now, as these rounds start to come to pass, Rise starting to build a little bit of a round. Baby Bay joining him, it's the Baby Square defensive combo here, trying to get something done, and there it is, the headshot from Baby Bay onto Derek. Shanks has also lost his dash, so there's that extra bit of mobility taken off the table, and the baby squared over here is flawless so far. Baby Bay still continue to push forward. That's his third. Supa on the backside of Cave Stack gets the information. Guiding light right over the top of his head. Supa a chance to find the kill to the pistol. Finds one. Opportunity to back away and reload. Snake Bite will gain him some space and the cell to go back towards window. At least Snake, he does have Viper's Pit now as well. There is a hope for Superman to clutch, but look how quickly he abandons it. Yeah. But it's going to take time for them to notice, and this could be such a big long con shift. Rock has had so much utility to clear out this Viper's pick. He's going to jump back to the middle, but Superman finds the third. A 1v4, now a 1v1. But on the spike, Zack going to hold it to halfway, then back away. 1 HP off the decay with Zack. Big Bay got a look, but could not connect. Neptune, first one forward, able to find Baby Bay before he can escape. Corey also revealed. And he's actually going to be detained, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Help for Baby J was trying to get there. Not going to be able to do too much with it. Neptune good for one more. That's his third. Rockus eventually for the second half. And so things are still very interesting. That's a big kill there to stop that off. His aggressive play forward. So Shanks instead is just going to use the safety net of this little trailblazer to make his way on in with the early blades. Finds one. Gets the reset. One more over the top. How about one more? Neptune found the third. That was over by the connector. And FaZe defensively completely falter. Left with a 2v5, and you would think maybe another situation very well could find one more point of contact here before the round comes to an end. Flash will be there. Hello, Neptune. Oh, boy. <laughs> For a second, it's one of those things where you find yourself hot. Baby Bay mid. Neptune turret finds Shanks. Oh, big goodness. Now we see a rise looking to pivot for a big B hit here. Seekers for the groups. Has to be used if you want to find any sort of entry. Neptune able to find Zack off the initial trade. Corey revealed through mid map. And Rockets defensively. Hunter Fury going to find one plus damage on the Neptune. So the defense is still finding at least some contempt. Student of Geometry showcase at the highest level there. Chunks down to 70 HP and then finishes off the kill. I'm on one. Quick defensive Vipers pit plus a trailblazer over through B. Baby Bay mid map. Able to lock down one as Rise were trying to change the tempo up and move quickly over towards A, largely through the middle of the map. And that has forced Baby J to pull out his lockdown but control. And they have a two minute advantage now as well. It actually abandoned the pit. Do the ladder. Poise has been figured out. But with that, fine. One nearly a lineup, but Rockus turns his attention from one. Yeah, phase. Dominant from the start. A little bit of a comeback from Rise, but as they. That'll push him back. Trying to use the Converse just to keep his baby counterpart safe, and boy has he! There's the second and the third! Oh, there is no stopping that baby square duo over towards A. Neptune has caused entry and a point of ingress over towards B. That actually allows a have a chance to maybe still fend this off. Oh, missed shots from Corey, but trains it back in. Ah, he's seen Supa. Baby Bay, no quick scope. 
and this is so tough. Super, he's just got the SMG. He's trying to swap it over to an operator. Corey's already on the defuse. No HP to work with, and Rise. They're looking hot right now. Oh, baby, baby, in a lot of trouble. I was about to say a little bit of trouble, but it's a world of hurt, or is it? Wait a second, baby, baby. No way does he find this again. Corey from the uh, side of position that you can put baby bait that he can't work his way out of because oh my goodness that is an immaculate triple Rockets will finish off Derek and even though it's a fake they see the spot of the cross back into this a site and baby bay is up to the task now it's just specters 3v4 situation diffused now Definitely putting a lot of pressure on FaZe to find these entries. Not going to find the first trade will be there. Maybe you're looking for the second, but we'll come up empty. And that was frag. Uh, so that's something that you can expect to see from Rise throughout. Have to stick this if you're super and will be allowed to get the plant off. FaZe out from finding their way back onto side. The baby Bay trying to force his way through it. But Shane, that puts Shane yeah. to now a deeper position. But flipped and forced back, and that's a big kill from Baby J. Maybe oh, they could do it now. Another. They're, they would have to go very quickly and do this still very cleanly. Super's able to find Zack, and now there's just not enough time. Looking for kills, poised, make sure none more will fall, at least onto the site itself there. Remaining. Eventually able to tally up Baby J, and the last two remaining players. There is a bit of a high stack here from Baby J, and now Baby Bay's found the open classic. He's trying to buy time as best he can. They don't check him. He's able to slide out, but the smoke provides cover. Shank's able to find a big kill, but so is Baby J. There's still a threat being posed by FaZe, but now it's being erased. Yeah, Corey though does keep the play alive. 2v3 situation. Neptune lurking through B main. Able to find one. The Hawk will be set through. Baby Bay stays safe through the Cloud Burst. Looking for a weapon. Shanks also dealt with. This is still very much so doable, but caught in the reload. Baby Bay not able to have enough ammunition. Defending Killjoy all will be spent. Locked down in play. Neptune's trying to delete it and eventually gets the job done. But now a bit of deterrence coming through as you've got the Nano Swarm locking down the alleyway. Neptune looking for the play. Alarm bot able to at least reveal, if not make vulnerable. Baby J trying to stick. Not enough time. Neptune gets the kill. Plus the Red Bull collectively. Baby Bay though still with the operator. It actually gets affected by the Trailblazer. Was Corey seen? That question yet to be determined. But as the spike is planted and a regrowth comes through, Rise has stayed healthy on the site and they found themselves an exit. Yeah, boys able to replay that turn on top of Generator as well. Good flash from Neptune to start denying a little bit of control over towards street position. Late flank, though, coming on Catwalk here from Rise. Ah, Neptune poised, able to find a couple. Poised, able to double down. Shanks finds Scent, keeping Baby Bay's attention towards the left. Can they get the Operator out of his hands? Oh, Baby Bay finds another! No, oh. not able to stick. With his turret going left. down. Trying to take this forward angle, trying to disrupt this attack here. He gets a little bit of a lineup, double Whoa. ding, and the spray down for Baby J. And he's not done the hat that trick to put a huge damper on this one. My goodness, the chess game was starting to get really well thought out, but just tosses the board over end oh. over end was Baby J. Now the information for Rock is Corey there to help Baby Bay nail it. Offensive Odin for Derek wants to make sure that. Rockus can't just sit in this corner. It looks like aggression is starting to come through for Rise. Oh, Ebony Well is so good! And Rockus will spam it down, Baby J, once again. Oh, yes, red ink all over the pages of that one. As you said, the Gravwell used to perfection against the Odin there. To boot, Derek, though, get phase are starting to crawl right back on the heels of Rise, keeping this gap close. Neptune catching Baby Bay, that's a nice snag, but Corey immediately puts him off of it. That would have been a huge halt still on the table. They got smashed so it's because Shanks is watching this rotation pending it comes out. Seekers is going to beat things over, but Rockus finds one. The blades have been pulled, and honestly, left. for Rise, they haven't really even made a move towards B. Oh, so Baby J's has been sealed. The timing, though. Oh my Shanks goodness! Getting in. That's a big kill on the Baby Bay. He might cancel out the work Baby J has done. Indeed, he has. He's got it back into a two versus two. But, but look at this from Zach catching the fall back, and now they have the advantage on the retake here. Shanks is the in trouble. Down. They've got no spot. Here we go. Attacking lockdown going to come through. Hunter's Fury going to be used in response. Zachary finally able to use his position through Cubby. He's been there three rounds in a row, and he yeah. finds himself a double. Not going to get the third. Shake's able to keep the play alive, and this could amount actually to a spike point for Super. It isn't he going to be, but Rock is quietly finds a kill to get it back into a two versus two. Good shock dart comes on the site. Superman gets taken down to very low HP. Forced out, but wins his fight against oh. Baby J, and now it's all on Rockus. He gets it, but now it's just down to... Will the spray actually find himself kills? Get a look at Supo. 
Maybe not really a look at Super more than there's just a spam at Super, but there's the Hunter's Fury just trying to delay. Is there enough time here? He's gonna have to soak up one of these shots. There's it halfway there! It's not gonna be close enough! Oh no, it's happened again! Rockus is gonna be able to secure another Red Bull clutch, even though they're Look it up. That could be a huge difference maker in this match. Last round of the half. Rise looking to get aggressive. Just right onto the A side, Zach. Able to find one. Not gonna tally the second. Baby Babe denied vision by the cosmic divide. The door will still be deleted. And with the plant, phase required for a retake. Yeah, poise trying to be that late <laughs> flank up cat, but Corey is oh, yeah. reading it like a book. He's got it open. He's turned to the first page and he's wiped that chapter away. Now a man advantage in the rest of the retake. Yeah, fool me once, shame on me. You won't fool me twice. But Baby J, able to take down Shanks now from the front. Baby J, oh my heavens. Derek once again left by his... Learn the way of the Smeag in certain ways. And Baby J is just going to go right on in. There was a spy plan, but they will now be a man behind trying to hold on to this site, especially with Zach so low on HP. Gravity well, stalling out any play from topside Raptors. All of these phase members are stacked. Save Baby Bay, who's playing deep over through Arches. Corey, first one up. Nice taps, able to find one in a second. How about a third? But in the same breath, Superman keeps the play alive. 1v2 for him, now a 1v1! Oh, it's Baby Bay dashing away. Finds him in the corner. Reload comes out and bang! Superman for three, clutches it up. Get their way through middle. Shanks is gonna read this. Actually avoids the flash, finds one, finds Down. two, Defender clean spawn. shots from Shanks. Nearly gets the timing, but it's red. Faze able to keep him honest for now as the Nanostorm slowed down the initial hit. But Supa, he's got help on site. Shanks able to double up for another. Poise also and part of the amazing. picture, and oh my. Down a. Last player left is Baby J, 1v5. Good he luck, have fun. Him. What a big Ooh. win for Rise. Almost full all the ticket. There are going to be analysts and critics out there that will say me off big time there and now they have to do more or less just the one rifle on baby j oh, oh nice what a catch timing. baby j you talk about that fearlessness just runs oh, through the spam finds derek now neptune needs to respond not able to do so as it's a weapon upgrade for baby Faye as he picks up the fallen odin with that the spike will make its way on and the b site is all phase clans is all five members uh, pardon me it's just four members here rockets is on the long flank Oh yeah, that's gonna be a huge insurance policy. He can time this perfectly. Poise able to start making some headway on this retake. But Baby J holding his ground well enough to allow Rockets to slide into the position. One enemy oh, remaining. Beautiful. One tap on to Shanks, no problem. Aldrone was still being held on to. Super needs to go quickly, try to find this kill while the Aldrone's still on. Rock is not. And we talked about it on Breeze, only found a single elimination with the Operator. He's going to be flushed out and just taken down flat out by the Hunter's Fury. Derek there to find two more, but the time will still allow FaZe to plant. And Baby Baker maybe cut off the rotation, but he could also get blindsided. That's a great timing out of Neptune. That now gives him a chance to retake. They had such a big advantage now when it comes to Manta. A tough one now for Core with only 35 health. Not gonna be able to find the eight on the back side of this play. Looks like Rise do want to try to stack this, maybe address a bit earlier than you might expect. Cosmic Divide will be spent for the effort. That's from Supa. Rock is down low. He's gonna be revealed and taken out. This flank from Baby Bay is still not here yet. What a turnaround from Shanks. Able to find one. Corey, can you do more? Just gets the first trade for now, but now Baby Bay is here. But oh! Whips the shot on the boys! Now it's just down to Corey. The Cosmic Divide still provides a barrier, and with it, Rise it happens. Shanks pressured again. This time he does connect, but Zach finds the immediate response. So now Supa, the only defensive player for Rise that could contest the A site, but wants to elect to wait for help, allowing chance for Rockus to get the spike planted. Cosmic Divide comes through. Defensive Seekers. Neptune gonna follow up off for Rise to jump onto the site, and you still see the Cosmic Divide is in play. Neptune also blocking the A archway. Rockus try to hold on. Pressured by Neptune, he finds one. Goes to the pistol. A little bit greedy. Baby J punishes. It's Supa on for the defuse. Poise able to find the kill. It's just up to Corey. Does he have an angle? Supa's still defusing. Corey's found two, but it will amount to nothing. Early hot battle here in lobby, and Derek uses it to his advantage to get a kill with the Odin. And Derek has been such a safety net for Shake. A little bit out of touch with this. And oh! The long range Hunter Fury. It's not just good for a kill. He's going to tally up damage onto Corey as well. 5v3. Rise. Heavy favor. The only thing that could be a problem is maybe a playthrough tree, but Super says, I've got that. No worries. Even pushes through the Nano Swarm. Super for two.
and the last hope for FaZe to extend this map falls onto the shoulders of Cory. and well, as you can tell by the trailing off feature of Gonna go ahead and go double duelist here. FaZe looking for the solo duelist attack here. Again, that elevation change coming out of Baby Baby that's been shut down. Two for two, though, as Corey does eventually come into the mix. 1v1 playing over through U-Haul. Poise able to win that. More challengers nearby, or are there? Poise good for a second. Zach still trying to spam through this nebula. It's essentially a fight in the dark at the moment for both sides. Zach good for at least one, but Poise was tagged down low. The next two contestants will not be in that form, and it will be up just outside B long. Spike is making its way over this direction, and similarly so, defensively, the rotation is coming for Rise. But the first one still yet to be determined as Baby Bay does walk on in, find Derek. Lay Aldrin also here for FaZe. Baby Bay able to use that with a gravity well to get a little bit further deeper into the site. But Super holding on through. Hookah nearly able to find a second. But it's Baby Bay who gets the triple shake. That, you know, he definitely has a crazy high ceiling, but consistency on landing some of those top shots has been in struggle at times. But that's a great maneuver from Neptune off the boom bot. But he gets shot down trying to get the rocket out. Luckily, Poise able to make a trade. Quick rotation to the teleporter, but Derek has pushed up B long. This could provide a very easy Stay free calm. look at Zach, who's taken the long scenic route to rotate to B. And now all of a sudden, even though FaZe will get themselves a plant, they find themselves in a 2v4, and they're 100% trapped on top of the site. Yeah, now some of that's been detected by Derek's position over here at long B. Now they're being funneled back over to elbow position. Rise in the meantime, get control of Hookah. They have a two-man advantage on this retake, and Derek's still coming up to Rockagon. Rock is still, that's a nice drag. Player standing. Boys be able to get one more. Rockus would have to do it all. And well, well, you can throw up the double control. You can keep this Viper Ball and Ace on. You still have Astra to put smokes yep. elsewhere as need be. Baby Bay trying to dash in with that. Does get taken down. Neptune and Poise Spike out trading a. phase for now, but it's been evened out up until that There point. it is. Shanks tilts the advantage now to a 3v2. Plenty of time on the clock, but it does look like FaZe are going to try to commit to this. Hunter's Fury also going to be spent defensively by Derek as he's trying to clear things out over through U-Haul. And in the same breath, Zach actually finds a double. That out maybe a plant. Looking for the Peeker's advantage. Has some stars to play with. Drops in. Gravity well. Maybe an opportunity, but it's a shock dart down to 1 HP. Not going to matter! The utility did reveal at least some members nearby, but Derek just spams, finds one. Corey's able to respond, keeping things even at a 4v4, but the shock turns are finding so much value. Derek Spam nearly gets punished for another elimination, but the spike can be committed. Baby be able to plant that down as more trades come through, but as the Cosmic spike Divide falls, we continue a. to pinstripe the kill feed. 2v2. Shanks, big opportunity, but misses. 12 seconds on the clock. The spike was never fully planted. Rockus Five has to stick left. this. Superman's quickly trying to rotate Five on the long left. flank, One but Shanks changes remaining. up the position through U-Haul. Finds the kill, now a 1v2, and Rockus never expected it. In that conversation for now, as it looks like Rise wants to get aggressive, it's going to be met with the response of a Hunter's Fury. Not a lot being found from it, but Bebe has already made his way onto site. He will find Shanks trying to rotate back in, and there's the Viper's Pit down. And face opportunity to get an early plan as Rock is still able to pick up Derek as well on this reapproach over towards the B site. It's a tough retake now all of a sudden for Rise. They're trying to get into the Viper's Pit though and see if they can make some headway. Poise leading that charge, but Corey sniffs him out immediately. And so now it's the Superman and Neptune left. They do have the alt on Neptune, but no, well, that's gone now, and that's going to be the round. Rise will go up to four here. Yeah, maybe a bit of a disturbance called by Superman, but I can't see him pulling up and buying. I think that that is a bigger adjustment they're having to make compared to Rise. Here we go. Early aggression coming through from FaZe after they were able to re- Love this maneuver he made into Octagon. It guarantees him a one versus one. He catches Rockus completely off guard. And now everything has to come to a halt. Cosmic the vibe. Spawn, and it looks like the time is just a rifle. He's playing with elevation. Able to find one, or is he? Baby J is actually with a win. Everyone's still very healthy here. But this man advantage. Still have plenty of time to work things out as they keep moving forward. Another big kick from Baby Bay. They pulled wide peak from Neptune, punished. Zack will finally be able to turn this sheriff into a rifle as he takes down Poised. Well, so you would. Tallying the ult. Yeah. Control a short A in a big way. They basically have base funneled, but that's a big control but of U-Haul position, and it sets up for a flank potential or a pivot back to A, whatever they choose. They need to size something quick, though. The clock needs to happen. Ten seconds. The trades are good for the side of Rise's defense. They go four for two. And, oh, man. 
I, I think you hit the nail on the head there for a moment, Dust. You had Baby J in such a good spot. A little bit. They try to put that pressure on short A with a lot of different members, but it's not a commitment of the spike. They're still kind of sticking that into Hookah, and they're doing their job as far as fakes go. They're definitely causing a big rotation right now, and they do take Baby J down on these sides of the spike. Will indeed be able to go down. They're also able to pivot everyone else into safety inside Hookah position, so they will have a four-on-four -four post plan here. Derek at 15 HP would need some timing here. Misses the first shot, but gets the second. Now over to the other 1v1. Shanks will win that one as well. Rise looking good for the pistol. Defensively, Faze are making their way onto the site, but it's not with numbers or much show of force. Zach, the last one left, 1v4. He's made himself now known. Switches over to a ghost. Time is also a bit of a problem, and Shanks will come and take. Still just two defending here. Rock is stuck in the corner. Does get a big catch onto Neptune, but Superman comes and cleans up from behind. Doesn't really see too much. Corey still has to try to clear. Baby Bay needs to also make safe the bathrooms. Not able to clean those up. Supa trying to go. No, not at all. Now Baby J not allowed to save the weapon either, making matters worse. This will give you Rockus in the corner. Here's Shank's move. Finds the one tap boom bot, taking him down to just 19 HP, and then all oh, the blast pack. Nearly gets the job done without Neptune having to peek, but the first kill, not bad. The second one from Bebe, even better. Corey still up here, and Zach will also get the minutes. Everyone kind of sharing kills here for FaZe, and it's now just down to Derek. He's going to have to 1v3 this in a position to still give us a go. Gets the first, does it cleanly, but big down. They are still a man down on holding off this retake. That is the one thing. It's going to take a while now for Superman to get into position, so this is tough. The Guiding Light allows Baby Bay to get forward and do it quickly. The second one goes through just to see if anyone's holding the front side of Hookah. Spam shots to follow. Derek in the back. One kill away from Hunter's Fury. Boys finds the first. Baby J steps off the defuse. Now to a 3v3. Super still has one more snake fight to use. There it goes. Zach gonna try to hold on to this, but the snake fight does get the finishing punch. Baby Bay, nothing there off the blades. And oh, big pick. Corey trying to play in the top side of the oh, Vipers, but it's Shanks who gets the better of them, and now the attack is on the way. The spike is here, and the paint shells actually find Baby yeah. J lurking God. in Shanks. He's going to find one more through the defensive spawn. That's Rockus now down and out. Spike planted by the two, and oh boy. Phaser are falling apart in front of our eyes. Enemy remaining. Again, just Whoa. such greatly is impressive, but I mean, Ross still just have so much cushion. It's going to take a lot more out of Phase to really put the stress on Ryze, I think. But that is a great round, I meant, so that was a Agreed. big win for 100 Ds and Baby Big pick there from Baby Bay on to Superman. She all comes through, sees the information, backs down. That's enough, hopefully, to get some defensive numbers to rotate, but left. it's just Rock is holding with him. The two have combined now for another elimination. It's Shanks who falls. Boy's still making a play through U-Haul. He'll find one and do it cleanly. 20 seconds on the clock. Have to make a move for a plant. The boys wants oh. to place down stars first. Rock is coming around the corner, but made safe as Derek will watch his back quite literally. Baby J up top though finds Ten the kill. Ten left. seconds. Poise steps off from the plant. He's gonna try to play for the kill and will find it just enough time to get the spike down. And it's Baby Bay. Try to go for a 1v2 clutch here. Cosmic Divide will block his way in. Updraft, not gonna see anything. Gets himself into a corner. Is he enough underneath heaven to maybe avoid the gaze of Poise who's up top? Cloudburst, Baby Bay gonna go for this, but the gravity bubble pull him off. Nobody peeking yet for a rise. Neptune, maybe the first one to try to challenge, but they're gonna wait for the sound cue, or will they? Baby Bay finds the kill. Does he have time to make this happen? 1v1, toggles it again. Not a lot more time to play, but comes around the corner, finds the kill! Is there enough time, though, for the defuse? Oh, it's gonna be close! Can FaZe stay alive on the map? No, Baby Bay will 